Yay, the zoom is gone. <laughs> there we go. So, we're losing friends and we're going to do kind of a newbie tutorial on how to play Pathfinder, the adventure game. Expansions, so. Uh, there's let's start. cards everywhere. There's a lot of. This is a complete card game. Everything oh is a card game. The adventures are card games. It's all kind okay. of random but still set up. All of these are expansions. This one is a character pack, and these are wow. advancing the story. Each one, separate story. Each deck, separated, is a separate thing. So we've got bosses and their henchmen, some monsters, weapons, magic. Allies, items, blessings, and all of these are characters. Yay! So me and Maria, we never played this, so this is the, this is the first time. It's going to be like a tutorial. Uh, so you're going to venture forth bravely and boldly with me and Maria into this new game. And uh, die. Hmm? And die. Maria, you cannot be the boat. But I want to be the boat! Look, mm, look, no. look, look, look. Can we, both of us, be the boat? No, there's only one captain of the boat. <laughs> Can I be the captain of the boat? Sure. Aww. Okay, so how do we start? Well, you need to pick a character first. Boring. Don't pick something else. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's how you choose stuff. Okay, so I picked Lini, the ally master. Um, he yeah. has the... Uh, male elf alchemist and Maria have a spe oh sorry a spellcaster with a fox a witch a yes. foxy lady okay so I've given everyone their second card which tells you their stats so what dice you use when you're using certain abilities and special features at the bottom you can see that these all get upgraded and there's like special bonuses so it is a lot like Pathfinder like this guy has bonuses to craft with intelligent skill. Um, Vidali has advantage divine wisdom and Maria has craft intellect as well and knowledge which can be useful in certain situations. So we were dealt our items, spells and everything else. Um, you find this in the back of the book but you can randomly do it by just taking basic and collecting, uh, not collecting, character pack items as well so okay so I'll go over what I have I got uh, some spells cure fire blaze strength and detect magic uh, I've got some allies which is adorable it's mostly animals um, a crocodile a fox and a turtle and some guy I've got a noxious bomb uh, I'm I've got wooden armor because probably I'm a druid quarter stuff and a bunch of these things which I don't know what they do we'll explain that when they come into the game yeah. yeah. Maria, what do you have? I have a rum bottle and a potion of lucubration, I guess. Mm. <laughs> I have some allies, a turtle, sailor, carver. The same blessings that we all get and bunch of spells because I'm a witch. I do spells. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Alchemist, so I got all of the potions, including Alchemist Fire, Blast Stone, Potion of Lubrication again, rum mm. bottle as well, so this is going to be fun. And especially with my quartermaster, uh, powdered horn, maybe an aphrodisiac, pistol, leather armor, same blessings, and two spells: cure and phantasmal minion. The pirate house of, sh of the shackles have been long been a refuge for independent freeboaters. Press gang strangers sail the high seas, preying on ships and contending with mutinies, rival buccaneers, raging storms, and fearsome sea monsters. But a far-reaching conspiracy points toward a foreign invasion of the shackles and the crowning of a new Hurricane King. The basic adventure, plunder and peril. The shackles include hundreds of isles spanning off to the west coast of Garund, and they're the perfect hunting ground for the inner sea region's most notorious pirates. To join their ranks, you'll have to learn how to survive, not just aboard a ship, but among the treacherous scallywags and vicious sea monsters who call these broken isles home. You'll face brutal ship-to-ship -ship battles, engagements with raiders from beneath the waves, and treacherous trips ashore. The life of a pirate is not for the weak. So that's that. This is the very first adventure, Island Hopping. If you're bold enough to seize it, a merchantman's vessel is ready for the taking.
but an enemy ship prowls nearby. Its captain is Andaro Barbarian, a tyrant who would just as soon feed you to the sharks. Maybe you should make him their new chum. So, I've set up the game. Uh, as you get this, it tells you what adventure to go to, uh, what scenario. Then, you go on one side of this, the one side of the story. It tells you where, how many locations you need, and how many, it's based off how many people you have. So we have three, so we have five locations. You also have to flip it over and find out who your final boss is, and who his henchmen are, and if there's anything special going on. For this one, if a shark is, a hammerhead is defeated, it's put to the bottom of one of these decks, and they're shuffled. So, just to be awkward, it's a bit annoying. So these are the locations. They all have special effects. Some are when you enter, some are when you leave, some just happen. I think it's Shark Island, yet yeah, summons a shark every time you're there. So at the start of your turn, fight a shark before doing anything. Uh, but there is also closing events where you have to try to close locations so the boss can't run away and that's how you eventually kill him. But I'll get onto that later. Right now, we've had to, I built these decks by going through this list. It tells you what and how many of each is in each deck. It should equal 15 in each, including the boss and henchman that you have split up between this, because you need the boss and enough henchmen to fill, put one in each deck. So I think that is all, so we'll be starting in just a moment, I think. How do we start? First, we all pick a location to start. Make sure to read all of the special events at this location, because, like Shark Island, if you go there, on your turn, you will be attacked by a shark. Okay. You probably die in some situations. If you, because you can have a bad draw. Your character has a special favored card type. If your hand does not have that favored card, on the other side. Oh. Yeah. Uh, up here in the green. Yeah. Uh, so your card is, type is ally. So if you haven't drawn an ally in your first hand, you can immediately put that back in on the bottom of the deck and draw up again. Okay. So you have to have your favorite item in hand. So right now we, cho we choose a location, basically. Yes, you use these cards and choose a location. Oh, right. So uh, that one, add three to your check to repair the ship, because whoever goes there gets the ship basically here. It's going to stay there most of the time. So are we traveling together on one ship, or...? You can, or you, everyone could just bugger off, really. But one <laughs> person will always be with the ship. Uh, okay. Certain uh, places do damage to the ship as well. So this one, if your ship is dealt structural damage, increase the damage by one. Uh. Well, it looks like a scary place that yeah. boulders would fall. Uh, if you're the only character here at this location, add a D4 to attempt oh, at this location. Here. Okay, so if you run into something where you need to do a check to like get an item or something, yeah. you get an extra D4 to every single roll. Mm -hmm. Nice. This one looks very, like, easy. Spoopy. But uh, it's not like I have any you, blessings. No, no we all have one. blessings. We yeah. all have four blessings out of characters. Some have more. You, know, you can use blessings in two ways, which I still haven't set up the blessing deck, but that will come in a minute. Uh, you can use blessings to use and gain a second dice of the same thing, which you can get silly later on. But So say I got a, D8, a D10 and a D6. You use a blessing, I get like maybe the D8 again, the D10, if it's a certain stat. Stuff like that. It depends mm -hmm. on the Blessing deck as well, because it copies that. Oh, really? The Blessing of the Gods does this basic, yeah, nah, 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 that thing, the basics. Okay. Uh, but you can also explore again. So you discard a Blessing, unless it's the same as the Blessing deck, but it won't be yet, because Blessing of the Gods doesn't do that. You can explore again, because we're on a timer to explore and find the boss and defeat him. Oh, okay, yeah. But the boss isn't easy, and you have to somehow make it so he can't run away. Because he will run away every time you defeat him, if he can. Oh, okay. So is it better to close quickly the location? You can or... temporarily close them. Or, yeah, and then this When you're at the thing. location, you can try to close them, but it will only be temporary. Alright. The way you close them fully is you have to find a henchman or the boss, defeat them, and then do the closing event. So, mm -hmm. Shark Island. So basically, in Shark Island, you have to defeat a shark henchman okay. to be able to close it, but then you, to close it, you first have to then summon another shark, fight it, kill oh, it, right. and then you close it. Wow. 
This one is horrible because you have to banish an ally, which means you put it back in here, you don't get oh, it back. So it's forever gone. Yeah. So this is the best place for me because I can... You can do it, but you lose the ally. It's fine, I can use it. You lose a turtle. Which you do gain back up to your, your hand's limits, which is on the back of this card. Yeah. But it'll be a basic card, so you might have a really okay. nice ally and have to banish it. Okay, so... Uh, everybody choose a location, basically. I yep. chose mine, uh, Maria. Well, I'll try this one. And I will go here. What's so next? Draw up. Draw your hand. Which, okay. it tells you how big your hand size is. Oh, mine's Six. five. I think I'm going to move to there. <laughs> <laughs> I will help. Because Maria can help us if okay. you're in the same location. Because these are all individual locations. Some characters can help in other locations. Okay. Go on. So, what I've just done is I've built this blessing deck. It's built on 30 cards from the blessing deck in this big box. And it is our timer. And uh -huh. so, when that runs out, we lose. I've also given Vitaly the ship, because he said he wanted to be the captain. I did not. You did. You did. No, I didn't. Yeah. And then I rolled, I got Maria to roll d d6 because it starts with one plunder. Which is special loot that you get at the end if it survives. And the very first thing we do, since I'm starting and I'm here, uh, I will explore. Which I've got a blessing. So, because it's a blessing and not an enemy, I will try to acquire it. I can either use Wisdom, Survival, or Divine. Which, I take my card with all my numbers on it, find out what my Wisdom, if I have Divine or Survival, which I don't, so I just go off Wisdom. I do. A lot. Yeah, you will do, but my character doesn't, which means I have no chance of being able to get this. Haha. <laughs> but, I can look through my items to see if I have anything that will help me, which... I do, I have a Quartermaster. So I can play this Quartermaster, which it says, recharge this card to add a D4 to a check to acquire a boon, anything positive, a D8 if it's a weapon, armor, or item. And I can discard it this Quartermaster to explore again. What does Recharge mean? Recharge means it goes to the bottom of the deck when I've oh, used it. Oh, okay. So I don't die, because my deck is my health. Okay. So, now I have a D6 plus a D4, and I've got to try to get 7. Okay. Other people, and me, can use a single Blessing to try buff it, which I believe... Ooh, I haven't done that. That flips over the first turn. Okay. So, they can try help me by using a Blessing, to buff it, which I'm not sure if it doubles, discard a two dice. So oh, this okay. is the one that Blessing of Gods would copy. It won't help me because it's a strength in combat, but it would still add, uh, add one die to any check, which yeah. it would be my main die, so Wisdom, so I would gain another d6. But there's no point because it's just a Blessing, may as well save the Blessing of the Gods because they're useful later. So I roll. I got seven. So I actually got it. I'm yeah, amazed. That it. goes to my hand. And now I can either explore again by giving up something that says explore again, mm -hmm. by discarding it, or I can end my turn. For example, my fox, it says discard this card to explore your location. That yeah. means I can explore a second time. Yes. But that does not go here. It that, goes... it, if it was me or Maria, that would go in our discard pile. Oh, but because, yeah. Because okay. you're yeah. a druid. Hey-ho! I got it. it. I got it. I got so it. I will do this as an example and actually do it. I will spend the blessing I've just got. You can play the card you just got mm -hmm. and right. activate it to explore again. So I flip this and I go against a cavalry. So I need charisma or diplomacy or both, <laughs> which <laughs> I of course don't. <laughs> I'm not charismatic at all. This is a really pretty carver. I think Maria has one. Yeah. But I have no chance of getting it, so it's gone, completely discarded. What do you mean getting it? Isn't it an enemy? No. no it's that a good was thing. a boon. Yeah. It's an ally. Oh. Enemies uh, appear in red, yeah. orange, or like a crit brownie red. Similar to that. They're really color. crappy enemies. <laughs> no, they're the bosses. Oh. Orange are monsters, red are henchmen, the weird red brown are bosses. So okay. that's my turn done. I would draw up to my hand size, so I draw In one. the end of the turn? Yeah. Oh. And then I would advance the blessings, and then it would go to our next player, which will probably go clockwise, so it would be Millie, which means first thing he would do would be 
check this and flip the very first card. Okay, so end of my turn. Uh, I sailed on the Lonely Island all by myself, uh, found a Blessing of Phorasma, and discarded it straight away to search again. Uh, didn't find anything useful. Then searched again by discarding my Fox, but it went uh, in back into my deck because I'm a, I'm a druid. I found an enemy, a Dominator <laughs> ship, and I defeated it with my Dexterity. Uh, but I had to use the Blessing of the Gods to have another die, just in case. So that was my turn. Uh, I failed to close the island though because I didn't have any allies. The, f the fox ran away. Uh, so, as next, Marius. Yep. Okay, so I finished my turn. I used my blessing of the gods to get a better blessing a blessing of Iris Tell, which is better, everything is better. And I used my spell which is back on the Bayancy. So I checked what's at the bottom of this deck and put it on top and I get a sneak peek. Ah, it's Spider Swarm. Go on. So what happened in my turn is I fought a monster, I burnt it, so much so that I didn't actually need to roll because I did that much damage to it. It was the Bilge Spider. Yeah, the Bilge Spiders, which were horrible. Because I added my craft, my range, which was 5. Then I Maria gave me a blessing that made me have 4d6 plus 5 to basically get 9 to completely wipe it out. So I burnt it to a crisp, and then I can't do anything. Okay, what happened in my turn is that I've searched twice by discarding a uh, blessing of the gods. I've found a nifty little light crossbow and a morning star. Um, that's it, just stocking up some, some loot, some, some weapons. And Right, I did a lot of things. So first one, I encountered a bar brawl, and yeah, our alchemist friend Josh helped me. <laughs> I showed Rome. He <laughs> showed the Rome, and everyone just calmed down. That's fine. So then I explored using the sailor and encountered the blessing of Milani. Defeated it by using another blessing. So I got this, and then used my magics which I always recharge, of course. Detect magic. Looked at the top card and look! It's a strength! Which it's I got now. It's One Punch Man. Okay, uh, we're gonna play through the game, what we agreed on, because otherwise the video is gonna take too long. We're gonna play through it until we encounter a boss fight, and we'll show you how the boss fight. It took us about an hour and a half, but we finally got it. After a lot of um, battling and closing islands and stuff like that, and a lot of a lot of fun stuff, uh, we finally ended up with me sticking on the shark island, battling off sharks and trying to close it down. These guys just got one more car left, and we know it's a boss. And now they're gonna try and battle it. The problem is, we only have one more turn after this to fight him. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is the end, and it's Maria's turn. Yay! Yeah. Well, I will explore! Wow! Yeah. So here's what the boss. So the first thing that we can do is Vidley can try and temporarily close his location. Like right now? Yes. Yeah. But uh, how do I do it? By doing the closing event, basically, which is summon another shark. Another shark. And defeat it. <laughs> another hammerhead. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, what, what do I have here? I've got the dragon pistol which use my dexterity range plus 1d6 um, <laughs> melee which we don't want him to use his blessing because we want to use a blessing for us on the boss no one so that's not a, I'm gonna discard my strength he's an animal so your special trait lets you recharge strength what? he's an animal. if you're doing the d12 thing oh do I recharge? yes because you're fighting animal. okay cool I'm going to recharge, I'm going to use a d12 for my strength and uh, I'm going to use my quarter stuff, it's not, it's not a knight, I'm just, just a weapon, so... It's a d... Uh, plus d6. Okay. And uh, that's, that, that's, that's it, so I need 9. Ooh. No. Well, crap. So it's not temporary closed, and then this shark is shuffled into this deck. Oh no, he isn't. Because it, you were trying to close. Sorry. Yeah. It's if he's defeated, the special event happens. So I fucked up. Yes. Okay. Maria? 
Uh, so you have to get a combat 15. Okay. With, uh, I think, yeah. no combat abilities? Yeah, I can reduce <laughs> can the I, combat damage. I can bless you. And I can bless you. I can Please use blessing bless in the dance. <clears throat> Which means you get to use your base strength dice plus one per blessing. Okay. So you have two d6 plus a d6. Right. Because you can't bless yourself again, I'm yes. guessing. Just roll them at yeah. all. Yeah. So just she has to again. re roll again. And she has to get 15 of three d6. Wow. Yeah. So eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think she's failed. Yeah, I think I failed anyway. So you failed by two, so you take two damage. Right, there's, I can do a thing. And then we I'll lose. I'll reduce the combat damage by two, but yeah, we still lost. We still lost. Hard game, but entertaining. Oh yeah. Yeah, it we was it, it was a ton of fun. We have missed some rules because we've got time restraints and such. They're very simple rules, and if you have the rulebook, it won't take long to understand it. Yeah, so get yourself a copy. And all the expansions. We, we, <laughs> we will probably go and get one right now. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching and see you on the next uh, episode.